Hello and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth and thank you so much for joining me. Uh, First things first, I apologize for it being so late in the day on getting a show posted. I had intended on doing this show several hours ago. However, didn't have a strong enough internet connection to get the show going. So here I am now. Uh, My apologies. But today we're going to cover Matthew chapter 10 verse 34 which says, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. Now, this is one of those verses that a lot of people have a problem with. You know, they think of Jesus as, you know, the Prince of Peace. We have him, this image of this great peacemaker. And so what's Jesus talking about here? What does he mean that he did not come to bring peace? You know, just like a lot of the Bible, context is king here. As I've said many times over the past several days... This discourse that Jesus is talking about started back in Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Jesus sent the disciples out to evangelize the children of Israel. He tells the disciples that the children of Israel, not all of them will welcome him. They will be thrown out of the synagogues, etc. Bad things will happen to them. And so that leads us to today's verse. Jesus has not come to bring peace. He did not... Yes, Jesus brings us peace in regard to you know our spiritual matters our forgiveness of sin things like that but believing in jesus comes with a cost and to the disciples it meant that they would be separated from the synagogue Um, their fellow jews would not look on them kindly they would be persecuted for us it may be something similar following christ comes with a cost it could be we have family members that no longer speak with us, that we have friends that no longer speak with us. Um, depending on what part of the world you're listening to this show, you may lose your job. Um, and I know I have, some, I have some listeners in the Middle East that listen to this show. It means you may even lose your life depending on what country you're in. So following Jesus has a cost. But the rewards, the wages are so much better than anything else that we could imagine. Yes, we may suffer here on earth. But let's look forward to the things that are ahead in heaven when we're with Christ and the saints forever. Let's look forward to that. Yes, following Jesus has a real cost. But when we're with him, we're united with him, we believe in him, we have faith in him, the rewards that we get later on are so much better. God bless you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Daily Bible Podcast. And I apologize for it being posted so late in the day. We'll get back on schedule tomorrow. Hopefully no technical difficulties. Those things happen on occasion. Um, Thank you for listening. God bless.